So we didn't get a video update from yesterday about what Braden and I were up to. Yesterday, uh, Braden washed this stove out. We've got to give it another wipe down, but it's pretty decent. Um, we'll save that for tomorrow. We cleaned up a bunch, washed the floors in here, picked up the stuff. Braden did uh, just wash the floors down slowly. We're chipping at stuff. We took the graffiti off on the outside. Keep shaking that, Braden. Okay, and uh, now we're putting our boots on. We cleaned up all this, it was full of mud. Got rid of that, that was again Braden doing Jason's job. Jason, why can't you run a vacuum cleaner? Huh? Are you so high and mighty? Anyways, you guys can look back on the videos and um, there we got a lot of this graffiti off. That was two days of treatments. Let the uh, dew do its thing in the morning to pop off more. But it's uh, coming along. Do you know, Jason, doing that, letting that happen to my house and not coming to do anything is real, real, real difficult. Like, real difficult to swallow. How many yards did we rake yesterday, Braden? Uh, seven. Seven yards we raked yesterday. We chipped at seven, and every day as it thaws, we have to go back to some of these because things are coming out. Uh, this morning we raked one. Okay, spray paint this. Okay, I stalled it. So, Braden's going to demonstrate to you, Jason, how to operate a can of spray paint. To It's called Kills. See? Kills. You buy this. This is our second can. Okay, and you can still see the graffiti a little bit under there. So he's going to demonstrate how to take graffiti off. A 13-year-old kid is going to demonstrate. Okay, spray it. you got to follow the numbers. Yeah, lightly. Two coats will do. Yeah, there you go. This is the second coat. We did one yesterday. So now, as you can see, the, uh, what did that say? Fuck a skank or fuck a sniff. Something to do with, I don't know, some sort of Indian shit. I'm not sure what's that all about. Anyway, so Braden did this. We might have to hit it again. Light, not too close, Braden. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that's a typical morning. We come around, we check the empty houses because we're required to check them. And, uh, yesterday we ran out of kind of kills here so brain's doing second coat out front and come in here we'll take this care of this and uh, so we got a 13 year old kid that does adults job Jason there's a coronavirus there is no school and I want a chance to be a dad I've been asking you this for over four years I want to be dad let me be dad for a while give us a day off for four years I've been asking you to give us a day off Four years, five years. I cut my fingers off, and and I, and I and you never showed up to give me a day off. My kid was in foster care for a year, and I asked for a day off it's just so I can organize shit. Not one day did you show up. Not one day. Not one day. Like, and then I get a message. I talk to another friend, a good friend today, and he says, "Why are you hammering Jason every day?" Well, I'm hammering Jason every day because enough is enough. I've I've tried everything for more than one year. This is not a two-year problem. This is a four- or five-year problem, Jason. Okay? You can't have us paying your mortgage because you guys live high on the hog. And yeah, eventually Kemco's going to be called because I need to have time off. You can't make me work every day for 16 years and never give any relief. Come on, Toddy, Marky. You know, your cottages, your... Your whole sports thing is a dud, a washout now. People are wise to it. Bread and circuses and all that crazy shit. But we take care of people. We're an essential service. Okay? We make a difference. Okay.